What is up, it's the Figure Hunter, and today we're gonna to do a brief review for Polar's orthostatic test and recovery pro. So this is contrary to their nightly recharge, which is a combination of your sleep details, therefore culminating in a sleep score, plus your auto autonomic nervous system rejuvenation based on a bunch of different stats through the course of your sleep. This is a whole separate thing, and it's something that a subscriber asked me to talk about or do a review on, and so I've been using it for the last two weeks, and I thought I would give you my uh, thoughts today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. I like to look at different subsets of different facets of watch offerings and specifically test them for not traditional sports like running, biking, and swimming, but for CrossFit and high-intensity interval training. So. With that, what is the Recovery Pro system in the orthostatic test? Now, the first thing you need to know is that it is all only available in the Grid X Pro, not the original Grid X, in the uh, Vantage V series of watches, so the V1 and the V2 and the V Titan. So that's the only offering that includes the Recovery Pro feature. And you also are required to have a Polar H10 chest strap to run an orthostatic test at least three times in order to get the baseline for the orthostatic test results. And we'll talk about what that means. Now, the big thing that you need to know is that you are actually choosing on your watch what type of recovery feature you want to focus on and highlight. You can either choose the Recovery Pro, which requires an orthostatic test to be run three days in conjunction with workouts that you're doing on a regular basis, or you can use just the nightly recharge, which is that sleep score, as well as autonomic nervous system rejuvenation score, coupled into one final recommendation for how recovered you are to face the next day based on your sleep quality and the details therein. So that all just comes straight out of the watch and doesn't require a chest strap but the nightly recharge does. So what is the nightly recharge based on? Like I said numerous times, it's based on an orthostatic test. Now the orthostatic test is a fancy word for saying your heart rate and heart rate variability in two different states. One when lying down and then one when standing up to test your heart rate variability over a fully rested state and then over a standing state, which causes some disruptions as you stand up, and it's just running calculations off the heart rate metrics, and it needs the H10 chest strap to be able to run the full heart rate variability testing. So once you do that for three mornings in a row, or at least it's suggested to do it first thing when you wake up before you get jumbled with a busy day, you have a baseline, and then from there, it can calculate against the baseline if your heart rate variability is higher or lower than the baseline. Now, what does heart rate variability tell us? Well, if you have good heart rate variability, it means you have high heart rate variability. It means your heart is quick to respond to changes. So if you go from a rested state to a standing state or an active state, your heart jumps up out of bed like it's supposed to because it's, it's quick and quick moving. If you have low heart rate variability scores, then you, your heart is slow, it's, it's a laggard, it's slacking, so it is not in a good rested or um, repaired state. So it just means that you're either facing sickness, you had a bad night's sleep, or it just means that your body is not recovered because your, 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 your system is still just sort of borne down from the training that week. So what is nightly recharge? Now nightly recharge, and we're gonna see all this stuff on the watch and on the app, but the nightly recharge is basically taking the orthostatic test and also taking into account your cardio load over the last week and the last four weeks to determine if the two combine to have a recommendation. Now, in simple terms, I think it's really just saying your recovery pro is based on the orthostatic test because my, my load has been going down, but I've been getting test results that say you are fully recovered because you can actually take the orthostatic test on those particular watches, whether you are gonna engage the recovery pro or not, or just stick with the nightly recharge. So, um, you know, the thing, I don't know that it's really based on load because my load's been going down and I didn't turn the nightly recharge on until later, but I was still getting orthostatic tests that were saying I was recovered. So typically they say at least three mornings a week, plus you have to have at least three exercises in or three workouts in that are flowing through to the training load pro or have cardio load scores. So with that, let's look at the watch, look at the app, come back together, talk about what we think about it. 
All right, so here you have it. This is the H10 chest strap, just sort of the basic strap, but it is their premier strap versus the H9. It is a pretty awesome strap. I use it for everything. And if you do CrossFit or high intensity interval training, you definitely should not rely on any optical heart rate sensor built into a watch. So this is what it looks like, and it does change your cardio load screen. So this is new. Once you turn on through the settings, you're choosing for your recharge calculation or your recovery calculation, whether you want recovery pro or you want nightly recharge. And so once you change it to recovery pro and you've done the orthostatic tests and obviously you've done some workouts, this is what it says. It says, go for it. So it says my system's recovered. And I'll show you the orthostatic test results in a second. So you can see that it's really kind of the same, the same message. It's just, you have to basically turn it on to Recovery Pro in order to get this. Your cardio system is recovered, good day for cardio training, and it will ask you some feedback questions that you answer for three days to get some more subjective value. So that's all you see is basically in the cardio load um, widget screen, watch face, you see this go for it that appears. Now, if you were to go and look for past tests, you can see what those look like. And this is what it is. It just cardio system is recovered and then it gives you your heart rate reading at rest, heart rate reading at peak, or heart rate variability while you're laying down. And then the heart rate at standing, heart rate variability while standing. And so these metrics compared to a baseline help you determine, um, like it says in the beginning, your cardio system is recovered. We'll see this in the app as well. The app is actually not gonna show this sort of summarized version as you see it here on the cardio load screen. And the other thing is, is that those exact orthostatic test results I have had every time I've done it, um, you know, it has said I've not recovered certain days, but I've had the same fully, you know, summarized test results with the, you know, recommendation of being recovered or not recovered, whether I have turned on the recovery pro or not. So it did not require me to turn that on in order to get a recommendation for whether I was recovered. It just did require me to turn that on if I wanted to see this recommendation on my cardio low load watch face page. So let's look at the app and then talk from there. All right, so this is the main polar landing page. At the bottom here, you'll see your maintaining cardio load status, and then you see your orthostatic test. Now this would appear whether you had turned on Recovery Pro or turned, you know, actually not turned it on and left it on nightly recharge. So you can see just the simple test results, but this is the only place where you see any information with regard to recovery, whether you turn on Recovery Pro or whether you don't, that I understand. You know, I haven't tested, I actually just turned the Recovery Pro on, um, you know, the tracking on for it, but it still fully loaded it on the watch, obviously, so I don't see anything different across any of these pages about my recovery load recommendation. So here's what you would see on a nightly recharge if you had it enabled, and maybe we'll take a second to look at that, and then there's just the orthostatic test that I took. So orthostatic test just gives you the same features, same data as you would see on the watch. You can actually see it in list mode if you want, just to get all of your different test results. And so you can see your system isn't recovered or your system is recovered. So this is after some bad sleep. So I, again, I, I, you know, I'm sure it's based on some relevant data, but you have a history of, therefore I established the baseline before I started trusting any of the results. And it's saying I'm recovered, even though technically at the end of this week, I am not feeling recovered. So the hard part about this is it's been like many moons since I have, so here's one. So this is actually what you would get if you had enabled the nightly recharge and not used Recovery Pro. This is automatically built in, doesn't require a chest strap, and is the full summary of all the data you get. So you get the autonomic nervous system rejuvenation, which is on all this data, four hours of your sleep, typically starting an hour after you go to bed, then you get all your sleep scores. Now you'll still get all the sleep scores if you don't use the nightly recharge summary. Um, it just won't include the ANS charge and it won't in include this primary recommendation of com com uh, compromised. So to me, it this is the best feature that they offer. So let's talk about, you know, what I think over, uh, one versus the other and the overall benefits of the orthostatic test and the recovery pro. pro so what do I think of the night or of the recovery pro and the orthostatic test relative to the other option that you track your recovery for nightly recharge, which is just done while you sleep based on sleep statistics and heart rate variability statistics and breathing statistics off your sleep. I don't know necessarily what value the Recovery Pro is offering. 
I don't know what value it's bringing. I mean, obviously you do the re orthostatic test every morning. Now that's showing so from a baseline to current day, what your heart rate variability is doing from a laying down state to a standing state. But at the same time, it, it, to me, the nightly recharge is accomplishing all of that. The nightly recharge accomplishes a much better, broader, longer set of data because the autonomic nervous system rejuvenation tracking and score that flows into uh, nightly recharge is actually based on four hours of data while you're sleeping, which I think is a bigger data set. And then in addition, none of it requires an H10 strap. It automatically happens when you sleep. None of it requires you remember to do the test. I mean, the watch can be set to remind you to do the test, but you don't have to take a three minute test before you're off to let the day begin, where you have to you know, strap this on, get it wet so that it actually connects the electrodes properly. So to me, it's not worthwhile. Plus the results I'm seeing don't help me see that it's worth more value. So speaking of this week, I'm at the end of a long training week and I have been going training, I have been training hard. It's been more of a muscular training week rather than a cardiovascular training week. And so my training load has come down because my cardiovascular load hasn't been strained quite as much. So my load scores, my cardio load scores are lower this week. And so my, my load has been going down relative to my baseline over the last four weeks. So I feel worn down, coupled with the fact that the last two nights, and specifically two nights ago, I got terrible sleep. But the last two mornings or the last two orthostatic tests are saying that I'm fully recovered and ready to go. You look on the watch, it says thumbs up, ready to go, go for it. And one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning is that it'll give you like varying levels, sort of like you're at risk of injury, you are really worn down, you need to take it off. You're slightly worn down, you're pretty good, you're super strong and ready to go for it, and then you know, full steam ahead, go kill yourself in the workout today. So I think the problem with having to have an H10, having to go through the steps, having to remember to do it, coupled with the fact that I don't think it adds a lot of value, and then compared to the fact that the nightly recharge off of the sleep score and the autonomic nervous system evaluation gives so much better a summary of details and it just happens while you sleep, a broad set of data, I find that that is far more effective, far more comprehensive, far more helpful with knowing. And the other side note is if you really like the orthostatic test, you can still do the orthostatic test on the Grid X Pro, the you know Vantage V, Vantage V2, if you want to still do the test, so you can still get the heart rate variability measurement results while still keeping engaged the nightly recharge. So you just won't get a thumbs up on here, but so what? That's not that big a deal, in my opinion, because you're getting all the quantifiable value on the orthostatic test, but still getting the long-term value or the long over the night sleep value of the nightly recharge. So with that, that's the review for the Recovery Pro and the orthostatic test from Polar's line of watches, the Figure Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.